I'm Ruthie Rogers and welcome to my restaurant, The River Cafe. Today I'm going to show you how to make slow cooked tomato sauce with fresh tagliarini, olive oil, sea salt, black pepper, basil, beautiful juicy big garlic cloves, and then of course the most important ingredient to have is tomatoes. The water in a tomato is not very interesting at all. So whether you're using a, a fresh tomato or a tomato in the jars, you want to get out the water, you can see. Do you see all that liquid down there? Can you see that? The River Cafe opened its doors in 1987, and Rose and I wanted to do a restaurant that served the kind of food that we cooked at home. We were only allowed to open at daytime for lunch, and we're only allowed to open for the people who worked in this community. We were allowed to open for the public. And people kind of sneaked in, and uh, we, our first review was um, the first line said, I'm going to tell you about a restaurant you can't go to. And I think that kind of gave us time to really learn about what we were doing and um, for word to get out. This is the olive oil that the River Cafe uh, bottles. It comes from our uh, wine suppliers in Tuscany. This one is from Capizzana. So just when the garlic is getting kind of brown, you don't want it to go too brown, but you want the flavor to seep into the sauce. We're going to add on this. I think that um, working in a restaurant uh, like the River Cafe, when you walk in the door, it's just so challenging and interesting, and every day is different. And to see the way women are um, taking more power, more responsibility, more confidence. When I started 30 years ago, um, I put on these chef's trousers, and I complained they were uncomfortable. When I called the laundry, they said, you know, get real, Ruthie. Nine, these are made for men, because 99% of the chefs are men. And now we are at least 50% of women in the kitchen. And then just breaking up the tomatoes, combining it with the olive oil. And then adding an abundant amount of salt, sea salt. Tomatoes need a lot of salt. And then black pepper, which we've brushed ourselves. Every morning you can see the waiters over there doing the prep line and one of their jobs is to do the pepper and the pestle and water. Because the way we run the kitchen and the way we run, you can see there are uh, waiters here in the morning come in and they help prep the food. They, um, they peel the garlic, they chop the parsley, they grill the uh, chilies. I think that all keeps it very alive. The energy and the change and the the kind of conversations and the sense of colleagues that you have uh, working together is what I love about working here. And then we simply add some basil leaves and stir. And now we're going to let this cook for at least, I'd say, half an hour, 45 minutes. It's as simple as that. The really interesting thing I think that we do is that we change the menu every service. So if you come in in the morning, this morning it was Daniel, and he was writing the menu. So I think that keeps it very, very interesting, you know, that, um, I mean, only five people can write a menu, and the menus are all the language that we've cooked in for 30 years. Today, oh, today, well, you, you know, it's very hard when you say, cook me something, but I always go for the simplest, you know, I think, and I wanted to show you how we make our tomato sauce. And I always say, I'm married to an Italian, my family's Italian. And when you ask Italians what's their favorite sauce, because everybody loves pesto, you love spaghetti alla vongole, you love ragu of rabbit and pheasant and chianti, you know, the, the list goes on. But if you really think about the sauce that you go back to over and over again, I think it's a, a slow cooked tomato sauce. Delicious.